Hi guys, that's a here from Homeowner DIY. Guys, today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my version of an engine shampoo or also known as uh, engine degreasing. Now, the reason you'd wanna do this is if you're going to sell your car and it's covered in grease the engine, uh, that's gonna hurt your uh, odds of selling the car. So you'd wanna clean it up for that reason. If you have an oil leak or something is leaking and you can't figure out where it's coming from, uh, degreasing the engine is the first step and then you're going to have to monitor it later on to see where uh, any potential leak is coming from. The third reason is, uh, as in my neighbor's case, if you have rodents running all over your engine block and you notice droppings, guys, these droppings will attract other rodents so if you want to spare them from chewing on your wires or anything like that, uh, like that, that is another reason why you'd want to degrease your engine. But guys, this is simple. It's cost effective. In this car's case, uh, my 2000 Civic here, it's not worth it because it has too many things going, uh, going on leak-wise. But this will be a great video because this engine is small and there's a lot of space to see uh, where everything is. So guys, what we'll do right now is we'll take a quick look at our engine and then we'll do material and tools. All right guys, this is the engine of a 1.6 uh, liter Honda. So guys, this car is 22 years old. The one thing that is uh, different about, now, about cars nowadays is this is a distributor and what it does is spins and then as it makes contact, it'll uh, send current to each of your uh, spark plugs. But guys, to map out this engine really quickly, we have our intake manifold. This is our air cleaner. Our throttle body for our gas pedal is uh, down here. Our intake manifold is on uh, the back side here. So these wires here are for our fuel injectors. We have our brake master cylinder vacuum booster. This is the clutch master cylinder. We have our power steering pump, our engine block. So this is a four cylinder engine. You can see how the grease is here and here, which means these three bolts. So there's what, five in total, one, two, three, four, five that hold on the uh, valve cover gasket. So these ones are leaking. If we look down here, this is all just caked in oil now my honda mechanic told me that there is an oil vent on this side so that's where the oil is coming from i don't know why there is oil venting from the block i'm not a mechanic but guys what i'll do is we'll clean this off here we'll clean this off here and then over here we'll clean off this area as well to make it look a little bit better now guys as i said i would never do this on this car because it's just leaking in too many places but for demonstrative purposes and if you want to do this on your own there are some things that you need to know so hopefully this video will help you in some shape or form but what we'll do now is material and tools all right guys this is our material and tools list so we have our heavy duty degreaser here guys it's very common for people to use uh brake cleaner in this case i think the grease is so thick that uh, you're going to need something better than uh brake cleaner i have water guys don't use a hose you need to be very careful about where you're spraying water and how much because there's electronics everywhere gloves steel bristle brush safety glasses and then paper towel Guys, this is all you need to do this job, so let's get started. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spr spray our valve cover. <clears throat> now, guys, in the back, we'll spray down there. We'll spray the back of our valve cover. For this side here, we'll spray there, oh geez, just everything needs to be sprayed. But guys, don't just start spraying like a madman because you have plugs down here and you don't want to get this stuff all wet.
Alright guys, give that about 15, maybe 20 minutes to penetrate in. And then we'll come back and we'll start to wipe this stuff off. Alright guys, our degreaser has had time to soak into the, uh, the grease that's on the block. So guys, before I forget, make sure that the engine is cool before you do this because I don't know how a chemical can react to a warm engine block as well as you don't want to get burned by touching hot service hot services All right, guys, so this is what the engine looks like now. Uh, really, depending on how thorough you want to go, you can give this a lot more time. I'm not going to do any more, but this is everything. Uh, this is all my paper towel that is just caked in grease. But everything looks good. It looks a lot better than it did now. So what I'll do is uh, I'll clean up, and then we'll do an overview of this job. And guys, this is the cardboard from underneath. You can just see how black and filthy this thing is. So obviously, it was a job well done. Alright guys, so that concludes this project. So when it comes to degreasing an engine, uh, guys, you need to be careful about where you're putting your degreaser and water. You have electrical connectors all over the place, and the last thing you want to do is short something out. But because this car has a lot of, uh, of oil and grease, uh, you're gonna have to figure out what you need to do. So I hit it with grease. I left it for you know 15 20 minutes and then I came back I gave it a little more degreaser and then uh, I hit it with the brush and Where the brush wouldn't fit. That's where I use a paper towel guys really if you want to do a better job You need to have more than one size of brush because this isn't the best brush for the job But I mean it got what I needed to done the engine look locked uh, looks a lot better than uh, it did before guys the uh time on this project the time was about 75 minutes once again uh this is purely dependent on how much time and effort you want to go into your engine to clean everything out you may have to take some things out as well just so it's more accessible than leaving everything in the engine block guys the cost of this job the cost for the degreaser and then the paper towel was probably about $15. Really, the labor is what's going to cost money on this job, not the uh, materials to do it. Guys, other than uh, watch your electrical connectors, uh, also be mindful about wearing your safety glasses and uh, try not to get any of the degreaser on your skin because it can burn. It is, uh, it's a strong solvent. But other than that, uh, everything went well on this job. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope something here is going to help you on your project when you need to go ahead and do that. Guys, until next time, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next project.